Hey there, strange is on the internet. I am Melgek. That's not my real name, but my real name would be too hard for you to pronounce. Anyways, so today I'm going to talk about why you should not use eval. So this is a very basic security guide <laughs> for beginners who are learning Python. So when I was myself learning Python, I was told by my the Python teacher that the eval function, uh, it, it is used to convert whatever string number that you pass in into integer okay so I, that even came into my test so i for the most part assumed that but then as i got into security i understood that no it does way more than that and that does not sound good to me um yeah so that's that's basically what i'm going to explain so as you can see here I've written um, a bit of code to explain this. So this is basically how it functions. So I have a variable. Let's just change it to var for better explanation. Uh, yeah, so I have a variable var, OK? Um, and its value is equal to eval double quotes 1, OK? So I'm passing in a string 1. So, so but when we use eval, of course, it would convert it into an integer, but not because of the reason you think it would. Let, I will, I will, I will pr prove my point. Just give me a second. So, I so this type function it basically returns the type of the of the variable we passed into it. So let's see what the type is. Oh, it's an integer, of course, because eval helps us with that. But here is the thing, okay. Um, eval actually does not just convert a string into an integer, but instead it executes Python statements. What, the, what I mean by that is that you can literally execute Python inside this. Python is being executed. Let's see if this works. Python 3, .py. See, it printed the statement inside. That is where eval is used. Now, in a in a more practical scenario, why this might be, um, why this might be a threat to your uh, to your backend, uh, to to your uh, to, to your services, to your web services. Let me let me just pull up that example. So here I've written uh, a flash web server, basically in very layman's term, you can call it a quote unquote website, even though it's just the backend. But okay, let's let's just call it that. So um, it has two main roots that you need to understand. You don't need to understand all this garbage and all this garbage. Just focus on this. And I also understand that as a newbie, this, this, so this one statement might seem confusing. I will make a video on explaining this specifically. So don't worry about it. So um, what app.route slash does is that it routes uh, it it i'll just explain it to you by practically showing you how it works so i launch your app.py um great so when i go to slash yeah, it, it, it 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 returns just a normal flash server great so our interest in is in this and uh, it, it's in is it's in this add one endpoint so this this thing right here it's basically a way of passing in whatever you would submit here into flask okay so whatever number i submit it it it, it, it gets passed into this function and then here is the spice okay i am using eval here again oh my god and i am using it to convert a string into an integer so basically whatever i will enter here by going into here right um it is whatever I, I i enter here it will be taken in as a string and to to return the sum to return uh, the sum of whatever number it is plus one i have to first convert it into a string sorry into into an integer from a string okay so that's what I'm doing here. That's the purpose of using evaluator. But oh my god, what did I do? Okay. But that's the that's the most insecure implementation here. Why? Because of this. See, 
um, if I know what's going on in the back end, I can do some, uh, some, some hacking. So let me actually use, okay, let me actually show you the payload directly. I will explain it to you in depth as to what just happened. But just give me a second, okay. Oh, see, do you see that something appeared here? As I passed in this 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 function, uh, I as I passed in my payload, app.py and main.py appeared, and they happened to be the files inside the directory I am in. And let's see, the sum is one. That is curious, isn't it? So let me explain what just happened to you. So this payload that I that I just entered. Let me launch a Python shell. So I'm using the OS library. I'm importing the OS library and using the system function. And I'm passing in the ls command. So basically I can use command line arguments uh, using the in the using the system function from OS uh, from OS library. Yeah, it should return app.py. Actually, it just prints out uh, the whatever is the result of whatever we pass in here, right? Which was ls in this case. But it returns zero or one or whatever the status code is. So zero usually means that whatever you passed in, uh, what the 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 argument you passed in, the command line command you passed in has been executed successfully. So it returns as integer zero. And I'm going to take advantage of it here, right here. So the eval number thing, its value would actually be zero. And some zero plus one would give us one. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the background, we're blindly executing command line arguments, which was ls in this case. You might say, okay, Elliot, but how would I get the get the output of this? You can use curl to to, to forward the output. You can use so many things once you have the, the, the threat model verified. Once you have the once you have the vulnerability verified. That is the beauty of it. This is what I wanted to show you. Um, as you can see, I can successfully you if I can print out the commands. I, if I can uh, if I can pass in the commands uh, the command line commands I basically have an RCE that is a remote code execution vulnerability and from there I can I can take over the whole system yeah so this is why you don't use eval you might be like great I understand it so you don't want me to use eval but what do I use instead of that to convert the to convert a string number into an integer it's as simple as using the integer function just use the int function that that should solve your problem um for, for example here let's pass in one let's mm, uncomment that and let's then run py see it still gives you an integer without the without without the the whole vulnerability being here if you, if you, if you can notice that if i if i if i do the same thing is python being executed it doesn't work it gives an error that is the beauty of it i want you guys to do this i want you guys to implement this best of luck happy coding or happy hacking whatever